Hello everyone and welcome back to another video concerning the OpenZD browser stack. Today we're going to be talking about accessing Apache Guacamole over browser. If you are unfamiliar with Guacamole, it is an Apache project. This is the project page for it. And effectively it's a, it's a clientless remote desktop gateway. What that allows people to do is access remote Windows instances from anywhere on the internet using nothing other than a browser. There's no client software required. Typical installations can be represented by the diagram that you see on your screen now. In the kind of gray box that's inside the yellow box, you can see a couple of the components that make up Guacamole. And the front end that, that faces uh, the web is obviously a web server. So that's what people are going to be uh, accessing. That's what they're going to be pointing their browser to. And the web server, in turn, once the, the session is established there, uh, and I'll, I'll show you what the, the actual Guacamole UI looks like through the end, end user's perspective in a moment, it uses uh, what they uh, what the project calls its guacamole protocol to talk to the guac d it's a, a server that uh, in turn goes out the backside and speaks uh, any number of protocols to the remote uh, servers that you're trying to access today we're going to be talking rdp not vnc or ssh we'll save that for another time but as you look at this uh it, you know in, in this area here this represents a firewall you must, if you're going to do this, you must open up ports in your firewall to allow remote clients to come in. So the reason we're, we're creating this video today is to ask the question, what if you wanted to stand up Guacamole and have it uh, on its backside access, uh, say, remote Windows 2019 server machines, but not open any ports to the internet while simultaneously allowing anyone out there to access those remote Windows boxes. How, how would we do that? This diagram uh, is, is what I'm going to be demonstrating here in a minute. You've seen variants of this in some of my previous demos. The differences here are down here in the ZD protected zone. We're going to, I've already done this. I've got a, a Goak server fully deployed. I have a Windows 2019 server box also deployed. Uh, have uh, taught the, the guacamole server where it lives, what its credentials are for, for logging in, and it's completely walled off from the internet. Now, effectively, where we're headed is up here in the top left. The web browser will be able to uh, access this remote Windows box but all, all over ZD. So starting up in the green box, uh, again, the browser is going to begin the process, the sequence of accessing this remote hidden dark Windows box. Uh, the process begins by pointing the browser at an instance of the ZDHTTP agent, which is part of the ZD browser stack. And as we've discussed before, we use an IDP, in this case Auth0, which federates out to Google Workspace to get a session started. And either that user's uh, Google credentials will be known by the ZD network or not. Uh, I have already pre-configured uh, my ZD controller to know about my Google Workspace uh, credentials. So uh, when we come back and the, uh, the agent injects the, the ZD browser's uh, runtime component tree, it will successfully get onto the ZD network, get all the ephemeral certs, and then uh, get onto the ZD network and proceed to load the guacamole web app into the browser and once that's there we'll uh, we'll, we'll click the ui and say hey i want to i want to connect to that remote windows box and then we will actually drive that windows box over rdp over a fully uh, uh, encrypted zd connection from the browser so i'm going to start in from scratch and i've already got the uh, the, the guac demo uh, link set up here so i'm going to begin Logging in, I'm going to continue with Google since we're using uh, Google Workspace Federated Authentication. I will enter my credentials. Click Next. And I have Tufa enabled. 
Net Foundry's requirements uh, on our Google Workspaces are to use Tufa for security reasons. So I will pick up my GS21 and uh, tell Google that yes, it's me. But before I do that, I want to open up DevTools. And once I click the yes, it's me button, you should see the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the login proceed from here. And you'll start seeing on the ZD Browser runtime chatter come across. So I'm going to click on my phone. Yes, it's me right now. Okay, that's done. And now you can see how everything proceeds. And up comes the guacamole UI. I'm going to shrink this a little bit. Come over here. And I just want to watch some WebSocket traffic. That'll be important here for reasons you'll see in a moment. I will log in to the default Guac admin credentials. And uh, this is what it looks like when you're logging in and uh, the admin has uh, pre-created uh, pre a uh, connection type. Uh, again, this is a Windows box that's out in AWS. If I go to settings, connections, and I, I crack this open a little bit. Um, this is what the back end UI looks like. So I told it what the host of that Windows box was. Uh, we're going to log in as administrator on that Windows box with the password that AWS uh, burned into that instance. So let's go ahead and click this. When I click this link, what's going to happen is the, the web UI will come back uh, to this area. It will, it will use the Guacamole protocol inter, you know, internal to the Guac server arena to uh, talk to the Guac D daemon, which will spin up uh, some RDP protocol and use those credentials I just showed you to access that Windows box in all of the UI, uh, you know, the, the screen renderings, uh, the keyboard typing, the, the mouse movements and everything else will come all the way back through this, all the way back to the browser. And we will be looking uh, on my browser at everything that's happening on that Windows box out in AWS. So let's go ahead and start this. And here we are. Uh, it happened fairly quickly. Uh, what you see in the bottom down there in DevTools is me monitoring the, uh, the WebSocket traffic. This traffic is all coming down like this all the way through the system to that Windows box. And right now it's uh, even though I'm not doing anything in the in the Windows box, uh, it's kind of a, a heartbeat that's going on there. So if I move my mouse, you can see down in the in the in the chatter that everything that I do with the mouse is is going across. If I was to I don't know type, you can see it's fairly responsive. If I was to start up Brave. Image comes across, I can, I don't know, hit our OpenZD tech blog, and that comes back and renders nicely. Hit our main corporate website. That renders, um, again, so there you have it. We are now running a guacamole RDP session to a completely walled off, inaccessible to the internet instance of guacamole, and it is doing everything that it needs to do to bring that Windows box to life in a, in a web browser from basically anywhere on the planet, as long as you are uh, your, your Google Workspace creds federated through that IDP are known by the ZD network. If you have interest in what you just saw, if you have questions or comments, certainly reach out either here in comments on this video or, or reach out over on our OpenZD Discourse site. We'd be happy to hear from you over there. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. We'll look forward to hearing from you.